Hey guys, it is Julie here with Tip Ranks. Today, we're taking a look at stocks related to 5G. Now, this new technology is rolling out across the world, with China in the lead and Europe and US looking to catch up. And switching over to this network will come with a ton of advantages. These include higher connection speeds, lower latency, clearer signals, and far better data carrying capacity. So as the 5G networks begin to expand, the companies supplying the technology behind this stand to boom. So we're looking at two companies related to the 5G world that stand to benefit from this 5G revolution. Just before we get into these two companies, this is your friendly reminder that if you enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to check out the Tip Ranks Instagram at Tip Ranks for Investors for other great stock related content as well. Okay, with that being said, let's get into these two 5G related companies. Starting off with Corvo, who is a semiconductor chip company based out of North Carolina. Corvo trades under the ticker QRVO and is currently priced at $183.06 per share. On the TipRank's Smart Score, they come in with a 9 out of 10 for an outperform rating with positive sentiment across the board from TipRank's investor sentiment, increased hedge fund activity, and positive technicals. As I said, Corvo is a semiconductor chip company, with their main product focus being a chipset for use in radio frequency transmitters, a key component of broadband and Wi-Fi networks. Corvo brings unique expertise in core RF to 5G and Wi-Fi networks, the Internet of Things, and other emerging applications that connect people, places, and things. Their technology and products enable global connections with more data capacity and always-on reliability. They have over 8,000 employees worldwide across 17 different countries, and there has been 250,000 Corvo GAAS devices that have gone into satellite programs to support broadband data, telecommunications, and GPS. There's also 1.5 billion mobile devices shipped containing Corvo products. Corvo has been neck deep in 5G for several years now, creating RF systems capable of operating at 5G frequencies, making the new wireless a reality. The company has been developing sub-6 gigahertz and wireless infrastructure products that are needed to roll out the systems. Corvo's product line also includes a full portfolio of RF devices, such as phase shifters, switchers, and integrated modules that are necessary for supporting networks and that work with 5G. Just at the beginning of May, Corvo shared their most recent earnings report, which marked the third consecutive quarter of revenues over $1 billion. On a gap basis, the revenue for their fiscal 2021 fourth quarter was $1.073 billion, gross margin was 49.3%, operating income was $293 million, and diluted earnings per share was $2.60. Their president and CEO said that Corvo's March quarterly revenue exceeded expectations driven by demand in 5G handsets and Wi-Fi 6 and 6E. Our outlook is strong as Corvo is enabling multi-year upgrade cycles in existing existing markets and introducing disruptive technologies, including ultra-wideband, RF-based biotechnology testing, and MEMS-based solutions. Corvo's CFO said that we expect robust end market demand to support double-digit revenue growth and operating margin expansion for Corvo's current fiscal year ending in March 2022. On this outlook and projected free cash flow, the board of directors has approved a $2 billion share repurchase authorization. Covering the stock is five-star analyst Rajvindra Gill from Needham. He wrote that mobile products continue to be driven by 5G handset content increases and expected higher volumes in the current year of 2021. Infrastructure and defense is expected to see a better second half of 2021 after a slower first half start, with more MIMO deployments in the U.S. expected. Utilization is expected to rise over the year, which will help sustain margins. He rates the stock a buy, and with a price target of $245, we'd be looking at a potential upside of over 33% for this next year. The Corvo stock has 11 other current analyst ratings, and it does come in as a strong buy, with 10 buy ratings and two holds. The average price target of $218 would be a 19.5% upside potential. 
And what's great looking at the detailed list of analyst forecasts is how many five-star analysts we have on this stock. Now our lowest rating is a hold rating with an upside of just 1%. Then we have several coming in around that 20% upside potential mark and Rajvindra is the highest with his 33%. Second up today, we have Aviat Networks, which deals with microwave networking solutions. And no, it doesn't have anything to do with the microwave in your kitchen. They trade under the ticker AVNW and are currently priced at $38.45 per share. On the TipRank's top smart score, they do come in as neutral with a 7 out of 10. We have bullish blogger opinions and very positive TipRank's investor sentiment, but we have seen a decrease in hedge fund activity. The company's products include hardware such as microwave routers and switches, trunking units and indoor and outdoor radios, as well as software network management, stabilization and automations. Aviat's customers base include both public and private entities, the state of Oregon, the city of San Jose, Verizon and US Cellular to just name a few. They have been in business for over 70 years, providing a rich history of innovation, knowledge, experience, and expertise, resulting in over 200 patents for their technology. They have over 1 million systems installed around the world and over 3,000 customers worldwide. Aviat is deeply involved in the development and rollout of 5G networks. The company's networking solutions are integral to public expansion of rural broadband, a market that is benefiting from heavy government funding. They've seen over 100 new rural broadband accounts via their Aviat store since fiscal year of 2020. In the private networks, they recently acquired the Virginia State Police. And for 5G networks, they have some big customers such as the Dish Network. Aviat also released their most current earnings report in May. And they came in ahead of both earnings per share and revenue estimates. Their total fiscal revenue of $66.4 million was up 8% year over year. Their adjusted EBITDA of $7.3 million was up $3.8 million year over year. And earnings per share came in at $0.49, cents, which was $0.22 cents better than expected. Covering the Aviat Networks stock is five-star analyst Tim Savageau from Northland Securities. And he believes that the stock still has some fuel left in the tank. He says that we believe these customers, 5G and rural broadband, could contribute approximately $100 million over five years with initial orders already in hand, with other 5G-driven opportunities in the US and globally potentially adding to that. Looking at the rest of the year, he adds that the company noted positive book to bill and backlog remaining above $200 million, leading us to increase our full year 2021 revenue to $270 million, implying 13% revenue growth for the year. Now, Tim is actually the only analyst with a current rating on the stock. So his buy rating is the only one, and at $45, we'd be looking at a 17% upside potential. And since he is the only analyst rating the stock, I wanted to take a bit of a closer look at his history of rating this company. And by going to his analyst profile, we can see he's rated the stock a total of seven times, and seven out of seven ratings were profitable for a 100% success rate. The average return per rating on this stock was 172%. So a pretty solid track record for Tim there on this specific company. Now that is everything for today's two 5G related stocks. I always love hearing from you guys, so make sure to leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Were these two already on your radar and what do you think about their future potential? Now keep in mind that these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock and are just meant for information and entertainment purposes. Please always make sure to do your own due diligence before making any investment decision. If you made it all the way to the end here, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you back here next time.